Hello, I'm Dr. Arthur Gottschalk of the Shepherd School of Music. I am a professor of music composition and theory. And I've just returned from uh, a group tour with the Rice Alumni Association of Cuba, the first we've ever done. I have to admit this is the first guided tour I've ever been on. I've traveled all over the world, but I've always made my own itineraries and discovered my own discoveries. Uh, but I enjoyed it, and one of the reasons I enjoyed it I could relax a little bit more. I trusted the people that set up the itinerary. It was a very valuable itinerary. We saw things that maybe I wouldn't have seen otherwise. Um, they took time to make sure that we spent enough time to enjoy, but maybe also still leave something to want to go back for. Um, this tour was a music and architecture and culture to a people-to-people -people tour of Cuba, and we were lucky enough to see rehearsals of the National Ballet Company. We saw a concert by a wonderful uh, solo classical guitarist. We toured the, uh, the National School of the Arts and saw artists, both faculty and students, uh, applying their trade. We toured the studios of, of private painters and sculptors and, and bookbinders. Um, things that we wouldn't have thought of otherwise. In addition, of course, we were also able to see colonial mansions, museums, uh, Spanish forts, all the typical tourist things, and of course we had some very delicious meals. As an educator, we all know that there's no learning like teaching. and. Um, even though it was my job, in a way, to, to give some lectures on Cuban music and, and a few other relevant topics, uh, it was also my pleasure to, to burnish my credentials and my knowledge uh, to go and see some of the things I talked about uh, live in person. I'm a seasoned world traveler. There's still plenty of places that I haven't been and still plenty of places I'm looking forward to go. But I've thought about this question over the years in two places I haven't been yet that I'm really excited about doing, and I'm, I'm sure, God willing, that I will be able to do, one, the Galapagos Islands, and two, Antarctica. One of the things that made this tour so enjoyable was the people that I traveled with. Again, as my first guided tour, the people all had one thing and only one thing really in common other than the desire to go to Cuba, and that was a connection to Rice University. And that was enough to bring us all together with a kind of a common purpose, a common bond. bond. And uh, we just uh, enjoyed each other's company immensely, supported each other, helped each other, had fun together, enjoyed everything together. We, cho we chose to, t to spend our free time together, which I, I heard from the other group members is a little l less than normal. Um, but I think that one of the great things about uh, an educational or a guided tour like this is the, you kind of know in advance some important things about the cohort group that you're going to be with. And, and I can imagine uh, a group of Rice alumni and Rice supporters that wouldn't be an amenable and fun group to be with.